what's up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill, live at the G4 Studio, ready to jump into some freestyle one on one. So check this out. Yes, yes, y'all. Send Dog, Cypress Hill Army, live and direct in the studio, about to catch rack. Gonna drop it down just like this for everybody watching me on the internet. Where up? Stay on that bombastic, rock be like elastic, reach around the world, situation drastic, earth from fool was said, I can never bring it, hardcore hip hop, metal and I sing it, ideal walking that was known as the edge, and I don't follow a life set in the trance, this is a new line, a new era, 1% of time to survive, do whatever, World War 3 been on the Middle East, it's all going down, toe to toe with the beast, and it don't get any better at home, the hoods and the races got their own war zone, who the real deal, and what can you trust in? Not your gun, perception of justice And no republic for which it stands Been fucking pissed on by the fucking man Yes, yes, y'all, and it don't stop Send dog and I smoke the good pie Yes, yes, y'all, and it don't quit Light it up, let's take one more here Yes, yes, y'all, big up to the homeboy, be real Eric Bobo, DJ Mug Big up Hitman, Julio G, word up Big up to everybody on the west side, word up That's right, y'all, big shout out to the homeboys from my block Cypress Avenue, Big Slick, Chonchi, Young you, yes, Scott, Cuban Fern, OG Grego, White Boy Dave, that's right, myself, the homeboy Spaz, we doing the thing, baby, Cypress having you all day long in the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna put the thing down like this, just some shit that you gonna be hearing in a few months, so I hope I can pull it off right now, and I hope I remember this shit, right, it goes like this. Once again, back is the incredible. Sandy Sosa, flexing unforgettable styles for your mind. LLC credible. 215 Xer, my shit is medical. Cypress Hill, son, an institution. The most high, let there be no confusion. Here is the true tale about the ones that smoke. No joke, we got it for sale. So get your shit together. We won't be here forever. Next day, next time, I'm down for whatever. Who the fuck am I, nigga? Where you been at? I'm all known in the nigga on the zigzag. All you cynics and critics, get the phones out. You can't fuck with the dickies in the throwback Go fat, turn back, nigga, play the gap You can tell by my tongue where I stay at Now I'm fucking done, motherfuckers This is Send Off from Cypress Hill putting it down Be checking, fools, we coming at you again Next year at Cypress Avenue Army Always strong, always all day long, baby That's real Big shout out to all the homeboys from right there, baby And right here, this is how we do it Cypress Hill, that's how fuck I'm doing it, right? I'ma fucking be the fuck out of here Cause I'm losing my high and I gotta go get stoned some more Because that's how I do it, y'all Every day, motherfuckers, alright? Until you see me again, be checking for me September 30th With the brand new solo debut album from yours truly Diver Mac Dog. And we gonna get down like that Unless I remember some other rhyme that I wanna do Which right now I can't But it's been a pleasure being with you motherfuckers here tonight And I'm gonna say goodnight just like that Freestyling now to me is kind of like the lost art form. It's something that belongs to the extreme hip hop rap individual. This guy that could just make up rhymes off the top of his head, never wrote them or anything and just drop them. There's a certain breed of animal that could do that. And it doesn't matter if you're 50 years old or 25, to lock into that, that channel be able to do that. The amount of pure, real freestylers are very small. And that's why it seems like it's not out there and it's not important enough and it's not being you know, talked about as much, but really there's only a handful of cats that can really do that and really, really are good at it. You know what I mean? The majority of rappers that have hit records on, on the radio and that you see on MTV or whatever cannot freestyle. You know what I mean? When I was freestyling, that was my introduction into hip hop. That's when I first started freestyling. I didn't know anything about writing songs. All we did was freestyle, you know, and then you got older, you learn and, you know, you start dropping demos and all that stuff and you, freestyle became less important to me. You know, what became more important to me was coming up with this bomb hook. You know what I'm saying? With these tight lyrics. And after a while, it's just something that be, it was part of your education. You know what I mean? Well, I was born in a, in, in Cuba and uh, in a spot called Pinar de Rio in a little barrio there called Consolacion. And that's where we grew up at, all of us in our family. And then when we were little kids or whatever, my dad, you know, got a chance to get us out of Cuba. He took it and brought us to the United States. We grew up in the Southgate area. You know, it's like right next to Watt and Linwood and Compton and stuff like that. Norwalk and Downey, that whole area down there. Well, I first got exposed to hip hop by uh, by breakdancing, pop locking. My brother is Melo Man Ace. He's a Latino rapper as well. We all started together, actually. Me, Melo, Be Real, 
Julio G, DJ Muggs, Ken Frost. We all, we all tribe, everybody, we all ran together, you know what I mean? My brother and uh, Be Real were in the same breakdancing group. So I used to go hang out with those guys. And before we came out, the only Latino hip hop that was out was my brother and Kid Frost. The impact that guys like Ice-T and NWA and those guys that they had on the LA you know, hip hop scene was major. You know, Ice-T and Easy and, and Cube and these guys were, it was like, uh-oh. You know, the West Coast is blowing up and they're representing. And, and people always thought that, you know, people in the East Coast always thought that LA was, you know, beaches and palm trees and stuff, you know? They didn't think like, you know, it was real gangsters out here and whatnot, and they clown the way we talk and all that stuff. So when NWA and Ice-T and all these guys started taking off and doing good, it turned the, it turned the people's mind different and be like, oh, man, they're serious out there. So with, with and what they meant for L.A. hip-hop as far as, like, they those guys blowing up was, like, they opened the door. You know, Dr. Dre and Ice-T and, and NWA guys and all, they opened the door for everything else that came through from the West Coast, you know.